Hey you guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a little bit of a different video, but hopefully it's something that you guys will find interesting. So recently the Chronic Dev team released a new program. Now while it's not green poison, you know, with an untethered jailbreak and everything which we were hoping for, it is something that will help us get to that point. So if you guys are not familiar with the way jailbreaks work, let me just be very brief because this program will help ma them make jailbreaks. Uh, so basically the way a jailbreak works is just down to the core, the basics of it, it's very simple. There's some kind of exploit, a bug, glitch, whatever you want to call it, but there's some kind of problem on the iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. They exploit it, they load up Cydia, and of course you're jailbroken. And that's a very, very simple way of putting it, but that's the basics of how it works. Now, there is one way that Apple is able to combat this, and that is via error reporting. So let's say that there's some kind of crash on my iPhone, and I just ran this, and there were like 212 crash reports sitting on the phone. Now, every time there's some kind of bug or glitch or error or whatever, it makes a log of it, and it sends it to Apple. And what Apple does, they look through these, and if they see there's, oh, there's a crash, there's a bug, they fix it and they could very well close up a jailbreaking hole. Now what this program allows us to do is instead of sending all these reports to Apple and letting them fix all these jailbreaks, instead they send it to Chronic Dev Team and they actually look at them and they go, hey look, this is a you know a glitch, an error, a bug, whatever you want to call it. They are able to take a look at it and then create a jailbreak off of that. So while this does not jailbreak your phone, it doesn't do anything like that, instead of helping Apple fix jailbreaks, instead it helps the Chronic Dev make them. So yeah, so let's go ahead and just give you guys a little tutorial on how to do it. First thing is you need to download it. I'll have a link in the description. It is simply greenpoison.com, but again, link in the description. Currently it's only for Mac, but they should have the Windows version up you know, in the next 24 hours or so. So if it's not up by the time you watch this video, just check back a little bit later. So once you've downloaded it, it's a very, very simple program. Nothing exciting or anything like that, uh, but it's very, very simple. So what you need to do is you need to take your iPhone, iPod Touch or iPad, plug it in via USB. Uh, you also do need to make sure if it has a passcode lock, just unlock it. And then we just need to plug it in like that. So as soon as you do that, it will say iPhone 4S or whatever device you have detected. All you need to do is click do it. It will take just a moment to take all the crash reports, find them on the phone, and pull them off. And it'll also neuter iTunes, so make sure that iTunes won't you know, accidentally send any crash reports and kind of mess it all up. So there you go. So it has 210 crash reports for me using my phone for about, I don't know, a month or so. So not that long at all. And of course, if you've had your device for longer, you very well have, may have even more. So there, it's very simple. It's just going to upload them all to the Chronic Dev server. This is not stealing any of your information or anything like that. All it is doing is all that data that it would have sent to iTunes and Apple and they would have fixed these jailbreaks. Instead, it's sending to them so they can actually make some jailbreaks for us. Anyway, guys, that's going to be about it. Uh, so like I said, a little bit of a different video. You don't have to do this. It's totally optional. Uh, but if you have a few minutes, I really recommend that you do that. It really could help us out with getting a new jailbreak. And uh, yeah, definitely could be worth it. Who knows? You could be the one who found the next uh, exploit for a new jailbreak. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.